Ernakulam, Kochi, in 1920, Robert Bristow plunged into his new job in all earnestness, set to take up the mighty task of reclaiming an island from the vast backwaters of the Vembanad Lake. That took almost 20 years to complete the artificial island. Infrastructures of a harbour, railway terminus, airport, port trust offices, naval base, living quarters, etc. were provided. Three bridges were also completed, linking the Isle. Vendurithi Bridge, Matancheri Bridge and a railway bridge before the reclamation ships were generally anchored in the outer sea. The cargo or passengers were ferried by feeder boats to the Matancheri Harbour, which was actually a port from ancient times. Matancheri lies just south of Fort Cochin. Both had strong maritime trade ties with ancient Rome, Greece, Phoenicia, China and so on. The British drove out the Dutch in the 18th century from Fort Cochin. They took control and added a shipbuilding yard in Matanchari. This shipbuilding yard became famous worldwide from the 18th century for its finest wooden ship manufacturing because of the prevalence of the finest teak, rosewood and mahogany from the surrounding forests in the periphery of Ernakulam at the time. Combined with the highly skilled local woodworkers and shipbuilders available at the time, Sir Robert Bristow, a British engineer, was the key person involved in designing and developing the Kochi port. He lived in Kochi and the place where he stayed, a British structure, is referred to as Bristow's residence. Bristow joined the service of the Madras government at the age of 39 and came to Kochi on April 13, 1920, under the direction of Lord Willingdon, then the governor of Madras. He was involved in the construction of the Kochi port for 21 years and succeeded in transforming Kochi into one of the safest harbours in the Indian peninsula. Born in London in 1880, Bristow studied at the Technical Institute in London and joined the Civil Engineering Service in 1903. He was involved in the maintenance of Suez Canal before his arrival at Kochi. Bristow returned to England on the 13th of April 1941 and died in 1966 at the age of 85. Bristow has recounted his experiences in Kochi in his book Cochin Saga.